Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for piano? Oh my goodness. Hello, students. <laughs> it's Miss Izzy. Do you recognize me? Oh my gosh. So today is pajama day. <laughs> And I just had to wear my unicorn pajamas. So what do you think? Do I look really silly? <laughs> yeah, I bet you think I do. Are you wearing your pajamas too for today's lesson? Yeah, <laughs> that's good to hear. See, I even have a horn. That's pretty silly. All right, I'm gonna take this off because it's hot. <laughs> Welcome, welcome today to our um, ninth piano lesson in my children's um, COVID-19 virtual piano lesson series. I'm so happy that you could join me today, obviously. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just really glad that you're here. Um, first things first, go ahead and hit that share button. Let everybody know that it's piano time. Obviously, we're having fun today. Um, the second thing, if you can, please um, hit the subscribe button when you uh, hop over to my YouTube channel, Izzy Chia. Um, that way you get uh, all the notifications when my new lessons are up. If you haven't joined my private group, go ahead and do that. It's called Encore Music Makers, and you can find it under the Groups tab here on the Facebook page. And then last but not least, if you haven't purchased your books for class, I highly recommend that you do so, okay? You can find it at Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, uh, Sheet Music Plus, Prima Music, and other music retailers. So, yay, I'm so excited today. Let's go ahead and play through last week's songs so we can see how you did this week, okay? Everybody ready? <laughs> Gonna fix my hair a little bit. Okay, so last week we were working on uh, Who's on Third and Mexican Hat Dance, okay? So Mexican Hat Dance was a really cool song and so was Who's on Third. It was definitely trickier. I could see um, in the group that some of you guys were having a little trouble with the thirds and that is okay because thirds are a lot more complicated than a second, right? It's a skip instead of a step. So let's see if we can play through our songs from last week and, and pass them, okay? Let's switch to piano view. All right, everybody. Oh, see, I even have my pink tail right here. <laughs> okay, so who's on third? We're going to be in C position, okay? A right hand thumb on middle C, my left hand thumb on G below middle C, okay? All right, let's count off. One, two, ready, play. cheer for you thanks to one of my students uh, Miss Claire she calls this one the DJ cheer okay are you ready put your headphone on get ready to scratch tick, tick, tick. great job <laughs> all right so that's the DJ cheer all right so great job right there on who's on third okay let's move on to Mexican hat dance and see how that one goes okay all right let's switch to piano view Ooh, okay, so this one's really cool. We're still going to be in our C position, all right? But we're going to start with the left hand this time, okay? It's a strong forte, and it does have a repeat, so make sure you do that repeat at the end, okay? Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. Peace. 
Did you manage to get through it? Hey, I'm so proud of you guys. Wow, what an amazing job. That was fabulous. Are you feeling confident? You should feel fantastic. Yeah, okay, so I have another new cheer. Are you ready? I call this one the yay cheer, okay? And it goes, it has a rhythm. Are you ready? We're gonna spell out yay with our arms. Ready? Yay! Y-A-Y, -Y, right? Yeah, there you go, the yay cheer. So we learned two new cheers today. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> So there you go, you've passed both of your songs from last week. I'm so proud of you guys. So in order to uh, feel even better about it, we have to get some new songs for this week, okay? Are you ready? They might be challenging, but you can do it. I know you can. All right, let's turn the page. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we're learning a new concept today, okay? Um, we're learning a little bit more about intervals, right? We had learned before that intervals measure distance in music, right? But did you know that there's different ways to play intervals? You can play intervals one note at a time, which is what we've been doing, right? And those are called melodic intervals. Can you say that? Melodic intervals, yeah. So that's one note at a time. But there's another way to play intervals and that is called harmonic intervals. Can you say harmonic intervals? Very good, yes. So harmonic means that you play them at the same time. That is super cool. We haven't done that yet in our kids' music. So it's gonna be a really fun day today because we're gonna get our first song playing harmonic intervals, okay? Let me show you what it sounds like to play melodic intervals first and then harmonic, okay? So at the middle of page 24, you'll see a line of music, that top line of music. Those are called melodic intervals. So I'm gonna play that line, okay? Let's switch to piano view so you can watch my fingers, okay? I am in C position, okay? All right, so we're gonna get started. Listen carefully because these are melodic seconds and thirds, okay? I'm gonna count off. One, two, ready, play. A turn down a second down a third down a second down a third yeah how was that was that cool you could play that one okay right because you've been playing melodic intervals this whole time that wasn't too hard let's see if we can try learning harmonic intervals now okay so if you look at 24 again, and you look at the very bottom of the page, there are some chords, right? Harmonic intervals. It kind of looks like the top line, but kind of not, because the notes kind of look like they're stacked on top of each other, okay? Yeah, so that's gonna sound a little different. I'm gonna switch to piano view so you can see my hands, okay? All right, so I'm still in my C position, okay? You notice that the one and two for your right hand are stacked on top of each other, so that means we're gonna play them at the same time. Same thing with the one and three. Let's count off so you can see what I mean. One, two, ready, play. Two, stretch to a third. Back to a second and a second and a third. Now left hand second and a third. Back to second, second and a third. Doesn't that sound awesome? That sounds super cool because it's totally different than anything we have played before. So I'm very excited to give you your first song to practice this week. This one is called Rock Song, okay? 
you're going to find it on 25. Let me show you. Page 25. There it is. There is rock song for you. Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, but there's also a blue box. There's a, a blue box at the top of 25. It's teaching us something new. So it says, rests are signs of silence. Hmm. That squiggly looking thing is called a quarter rest. And that means you're gonna rest for the value of a quarter note. Think, how many beats does a quarter note get? Yeah, it gets one beat, right? So the quarter rest is gonna get one beat too, but it's gonna be one beat of silence, okay? I think when you see it in your music, you'll see what I mean, okay? Let's take a look at Rock Song. All right, so Rock Song is really cool. I think that you're gonna enjoy learning this one quite a bit. We're gonna be in C position. It starts nice and forte, because if you think of like a rock band, they're not playing like quiet. How are they playing? Bum, bum, bum. They're playing loud, right? <laughs> they have like amps and like electric guitars and bass and drum sets that are like crazy loud, right? Just like the picture. So we have to be able to do that on the piano too. So we're gonna play forte, okay? I do see a repeat. And we have a mix of both melodic intervals and harmonic intervals, okay? All right, so let's get into C position. I'm gonna switch to piano view. Okay, so my right hand is in my spot. I have my thumb on middle C. And then I'm going to count down one, two, three, and there is my left hand. All right, everyone with me? Wonderful. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to count off. And you notice the very first note is a right hand finger four on F. Okay, let's count off. One, two, three. Ready, play. Down to E, D, rest, D, rest. To open to a third, third, back to a second, rest, second, rest. E in the right hand three, down to D, D, and C, rest, C, rest. Make it a second, second, and a third. Rest, rest. Ooh, we have a repeat. Let's play it. B, two, B, B, D, rest, D, rest. Second, open to a third, third, and a second again. Rest, second, rest. yourself a pat on the back because that one was hard. <laughs> we did a great job getting through it, but I definitely think this one's going to need some practice, huh? What do you think? <laughs> definitely. Yeah, okay, so with this one, you don't think it goes by that quickly, but it, you just blink and it's already finished. Uh, it's one of those songs that kind of sneaks up on you, so... If you noticed, when I was practicing or playing through the line, whenever I would come to that squiggly quarter rest, I would actually say the word rest, right? That helps me because if I don't say the word rest, sometimes I'll forget and I'll play a note during that time. So if it helps you in the beginning during your practice, you can absolutely say the word rest when you see one, okay? Um, also, 
when I came to my left hand chords, my harmonic intervals, I noticed that the seconds, they kind of look like they're hugging each other. Do you see that? They kind of look like they're hugging each other. And then when you get to a third, they kind of look like they're sitting on top of each other, kind of like the little mini snowmen. Do you see that? Yeah, they're like little snowmen. So seconds, I think of like, since they're so close together, they're hugging, right? And thirds, it's like they're stacked on top of each other, okay? Hopefully that helps you a little bit, okay? Let's see if we can play through it one more time, okay? With repeats. All right, let's switch to piano view. Yes, that's way better. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna find my C position. Okay, I'm in my spot. I'm gonna count off. One, two, ready, play. Two, down to E, E, D, rest, D, rest. Second, hold, open to a third. tricky but that is okay all right that's the beauty of piano is that you can give yourself little challenges every week so you improve and you get better and better and when you achieve those goals don't you feel wonderful yeah it's like super awesome to be able to play stuff that's a little bit harder you can do it I know you can well, that was rock song, okay? That's your first song for this week. We're gonna practice it, okay? Let's turn the page. <gasps> I love this song. <laughs> this one's so much fun. Okay, this is super cool. It's called Rockets, okay? On page 26 of your book. It says at the very top, in Rockets, Harmonic intervals, seconds and thirds, are played by the left hand in the last two measures of each line, okay? It says, play the harmonic intervals softer than the melody. The melody must always be clearly heard. That's a really good tip, okay? When you have the melody line in one hand, Make sure that the other hand is kind of like the backup singers, right? For that melody. And sometimes you'll get a melody that's not in the right hand. You'll have to put the melody in the left hand. And then you're like, oh my, I have to make my right hand softer. That could be tricky. But don't worry, we'll get that next week. All right, so looking at rockets here, I notice a few things. We have three, four time. You remember three, four time? That was three beats in a measure, right? We have fortes. We also have this interesting pattern of thirds going from finger five, C, left hand, traveling up the hand, and then even by thirds to the right hand. That's really cool. Once you get to the tippy top of that pinky finger five right hand, your G, then it goes down by steps. So that's pretty cool. So we have skip, 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 skip. And then going down step, 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 step. Not bad. Let's, let's see what it says. 
sounds like. Yeah. I see um, the top line is a forte and the second line is piano. So we're going to pretend it's actually quieter, okay? Let's switch to piano view. Okay, so let's find our C position. Ooh, I can't wait for you to hear this one. It's so much fun. Okay, I'm going to count off. You ready? One, two, three, ready, and play. that's hard you might get a little bit nervous about it right but that's okay right nobody's expecting it to be perfect the first time you play it if you could play something perfect the first time you played it well then what am I here for <laughs> I'm here to help you learn it so don't ever expect it to be perfect the first time you play it it takes work right the more you practice the better you get, right? Isn't that what I say? Yeah, so it's just gonna take some time. Don't ever worry if it's a little hard at the beginning. Okay, so let's analyze, let's look at it. We have traveling up by thirds, starting with the left hand. So that would mean C, E, G, or a five, three, one, okay? If you need to write those finger numbers or note names above your notes, you can do that, okay? And then I see that the right hand continues that pattern, doesn't it? C, E, G, or one, three, five. Okay, write it down if you need to. Now, when you get to the third measure, this is where it gets tricky. You are playing a finger four F in your right hand. At the same time, you're gonna play a second G and F or a one and two in your left hand. It sounds like this. Whoa, yeah. That sounds kind of crazy. And you also notice that your left hand second is a is a dotted half note. So you have to hold it like super glue for the whole three beats, okay? That's tricky, but you can do it, all right? Just gonna take some work. So we start there, down to E, D, and when you get to your C, you open your left hand to a third. That's a one and three on a G and E. Sounds cool when you get there, huh? Yeah. Little by little, you're gonna get it, okay? And then what happens in the second line? The same thing, right? We're playing the same notes in the same pattern. The only thing that's different is it's piano. It's gonna be quiet, all right? All right, well, let's see if we can play through rockets the whole thing one more time, okay? Remembering all of these things that we learned today. <laughs> It's hard, but we can do it, can't we? Yes, we can totally do it. Okay, let's switch to piano view. All right, so I am here with my right hand. Finger one on middle C. One, two, three, down, and I have my left hand thumb on G below middle C. Okay, are we ready for rockets? Let's do it, let's count. One, two, three, Ready and play.
okay. Little by little, it's gonna get better, right? Now, did you notice something? This song is called Rockets, right? So where do rockets go? They go into outer space, right? <laughs> they like leave Earth's orbit, right? You like starting on the ground, it's like really low and then it just blasts off all the way into outer space, right? Yeah, and we're kind of doing that in our song, aren't we? We're starting low and we're going higher. <laughs> Do you see how they did that? <laughs> Yeah, they did that on purpose because in our brains, we are able to picture a rocket blasting off from low C going up higher, right? That's super cool. Let me tell you something else that's even cooler. At the bottom, there's a note. It says, important. <laughs> Play rockets again. Playing the second line one octave or eight notes higher. Whoa. The rests at the end of the first line give you time to move your hands to the new position. Remember back when we were doing, um, I think it was uh, sailing, and I had you move one octave higher? in your music so we could do the duet if you wanted. Yeah, so the same type of thing is gonna happen here on Rockets. The second line, on the second time, if you were to repeat it, you're gonna play it one octave higher. I'll play it for you, okay? That way you know what to do. I'll switch to piano view so you can watch. Okay, let's see here. There we are. Okay, so we are here in our regular spot, right? Regular C position. I'm gonna play as if this is a repeat, okay? This is like as if it's the second time through. All right, listen carefully. One, two, three, ready, and play. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so when you do that, it is literally like you are leaving Earth's orbit, right? Yes, it is. So when you do that, make sure that when you do it successfully, give yourself a satellite cheer, right? Because we are outside of Earth's orbit, so you can go beep. just all the way around, right? Yeah, that would be so much fun. Okay, so make sure that you practice that. Give uh, rockets a repeat sign at the end. So I'm gonna draw a repeat sign. Oops, my pencil, there it is. So I'm drawing a repeat sign. You should draw one too. And on the repeat, the second line only, bump it up eight notes or one octave, okay? So you can blast off out of Earth's orbit, okay? Have some fun with it, okay? It's gonna be so great. <laughs> so that's your second song that you're gonna practice, okay? How does that sound? Does that sound awesome? Double thumbs up? Yeah? Okay, good, very good. All right, well, close your lesson book. I want you to pull out your theory book, okay? Here's your theory, yay. There it is. And I want you to turn to page 18, okay? Page 18, it looks like this. Melodic intervals and harmonic intervals, okay? So on page 18, you're going to do an exercise testing your skills 
on um, reading melodic intervals and harmonic intervals, remember? Okay, so we learned that today. Also, you're gonna do page 19, okay? If you look at page 19, it's all about quarter rests, right? Remember, rests, quarter rests are all about one beat of silence, right? You'll fill in some notes and some note values as well as rest values. You'll do some musical math, and then there's a little line at the end that's kind of like a joke. I think you'll get it. You'll probably think it's really silly, but that's okay. So for theory, you're going to do page 18 and 19, okay? Put your theory book away. Well, I just have to say thank you so much for everything that you guys are doing. I am accepting tips. <laughs> So if you find it in your heart to um, keep these lessons going, I would very much appreciate um, a virtual tip. Um, I accept PayPal. My email is EncoreMusicHTX at gmail.com. I accept Venmo. My username is Izzy Chia. And I also accept Cash App. My username is IZZI3. CH3A. There you go. Yeah. So thanks for letting me say that. <laughs> I hope you had fun today. I had a blast. Let me put my my horn, my head and horn back on. And let's do our music quote. What do you think? Does that sound like a good plan? Let's do it. Okay. So I have a really awesome quote for you today. Our quote today comes from the poet. Maya Angelou, and this is what she says. Everything in the universe has rhythm. Everything dances. That's true, right? There's like rhythm everywhere. There's rhythm uh, in our heartbeats. There's rhythm with the dogs walking down the street, clickety clacking all their nails. There's rhythm with the birds singing. I just hear rhythm all the time. Even when you're sitting in traffic, sometimes you hear the rhythm of the streets, right? It's super cool. I like that quote. Maya Angelou is amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Um, if you have a picture of yourself in your PJ sitting at the piano, send it in so I can post it on the page, okay? All right, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you later. Take care. <laughs>